हेलो वेलकम टू इट साइंस if i put a magnet on a wall clock or any analog clock suppose your wrist watch it stops readily but what happens if we take a digital watch like that of our mobile in our common analog watch or wall clock we have a battery to supply power this battery delivers a very small electric current to a microchip this microchip transfers the electric signal to this crystal this is a special type of crystal which is called piezoelectric crystal which can be obtained from silicon dioxide silicon dioxide is a very common material found in sand now the property of piezoelectric crystal is whenever it gets electricity it vibrates on its own or whenever it vibrates on its own it generates a very small electrical signal so when it gets a electric pulse from this microchip this starts vibrating with a frequency of 32768 oscillations per second this piezoelectric crystal by the virtue of its piezoelectric property transforms its own oscillation of frequency 32768 per second into small electric signal and delivers to the microchip this microchip transforms that electric signal into a general electric signal of frequency 1 pulse per second and that signal of frequency 1 pulse per second is then transferred to this motor this is a steeping motor in steeping motor we have coil outside magnet inside coil hota hai bahar magnet andar whereas ordinary motor mein coil andar magnet bahar this steeping motor then makes these gears of the clock to move and these gears in turn makes the hands of the clock spin in digital clock we do not have this steeping motor so if we apply magnetic field from outside digital clocks won't stop this is what we can find inside any analog watch this battery provides power to this microchip this portions of the microchip are connected to this battery circuit power from battery is transferred from these two electrodes to this microchip this microchip then supplies electricity to this piezoelectric crystal this crystal then starts vibrating with a frequency of almost 33000 pulses per second and by the piezoelectric property it on its own transfers that vibration into an electric signal that electric signal is of frequency almost 33000 pulses per second and this electric signal is then transmitted to this microchip this microchip converts that signal into a general pulse of 1 pulse per second that is a general electric signal and that signal is fed into this steeping motor now we can see that the electric signal of frequency 1 pulse per second is ticking and that signal is transferred to these white gears these gears make the hands of the clock spin here we have a copper coil and in steeping motor inside the coil we have a magnet here an electromagnet is used 
a stainless steel plate is placed inside the copper coil which is made electromagnet by virtue of a current passing through it so now the circuit is functioning properly electromagnet is functioning properly the stepping motor is also doing well now when we put an external magnetic field from outside then it stops rotating because the stepping motor is not functioning now and whenever we lift the magnet it is again doing its own work in digital watch we do not have the stepping motor and the electric pulse of frequency 1 pulse per second from the microchip is directly fed into a lcd display so if we apply an external magnetic field the digital watch won't get stopped thanks for your time